this is part 205 of the My Little Pony game, and I know that you have been waiting a couple of weeks for a new pony video. I have been super vi busy traveling, and we're going to be uh, traveling for the holidays again. So I'm so sorry that I haven't been able to keep up with the YouTube schedule I normally keep, but I am going to finish up the limited time story we were working on last time and we get to start a new limited time story that I'm almost done with. So last time we were still working on the Sire's Hollow limited time story and now we're done with definitely a real problem. Okay, something tells me that this whole essence thing isn't a real friendship prop. Ooh, blueberry. And we're also finished with best laid plans. Whew, Sunburst gets kind of screechy when he yells, doesn't he? I sure hope Starlight's doing better than he is. Okay, I've humored you long enough, Mom. It needs to be a real friendship problem. You can't just make one up. Uh, I knew I should have made them rehearse more. Okay, if you don't want me to make up a problem, what if I start one? That is not how this... I mean, no pony ever became a success by following all the rules, right? Urgh. I don't need your help, and I don't need a plan, Mom. I mean, maybe I do, but it'll be mine, not yours. I have to go be somewhere else right now. Okay, now that I've explained how Sire's Hollow was founded, we can start to explore all the possible friendship problems that might have developed over time. <sighs> I appreciate the history lesson, Dad, but I need to find the problem now, I in the present. Aw, hun bun, how are you going to do that without all the backstory, huh? Oh, of course. I know how hard it is for you to sit still and focus, so would it help you to pay attention if you hold on to your blankie? Mm. Now, I've found a really old Sire's Hollow bylaw that no pony agrees on. Apparently, we're not supposed to prance or canter after dinner time. Maybe that's the friendship problem? It's after dinner time right now. So maybe if both of us pranced and cantered, it would help show the visiting Sire's Hollow citizens how silly that mean widow wa is. What do you think, silly filly? All right, so this new quest is called Everybody Cut Hoof Loose, and we're supposed to score 20,000 points in the Equestria Girls minigame. First, I'm going to put all my ponies back on task. I played all of the songs. For opening theme, my final score was 2011. That was with the Canterlot t-shirt outfit. Next, I'm going to play Time to Come Together. Of course, I have to change the music, but I get to play with Pinkie Pie. I'm gonna pick a couple of friends to play with. This time, I'm going to use my free VIP point to play with the largest multiplier, and Pinkie gets to play with her Power Up costume. The final score was 17,258, and I got an extra 1,000 bits. Now let's play This Strange New World with Rarity. Again, I'm going to pick a couple of friends to play with. This time, again, I'm going to get the 10 times multiplier with um, the Canterlot shirt. My final score there was 4,428, and I got an orange flag that time. Next, I'm going to play EG Stomp with Twilight Sparkle. My score there was 10,710 points. I also played Cafeteria Song with Twilight Sparkle. You saw a little clip of that at the beginning of this video. My final score there was 10,024. 
I think we have enough for this quest. Woohoo! Nonviolent protest. I don't know about Starlight, but I'm in favor of any kind of political activism that lets me dance, to be honest. Dad, it's not that I don't like prancing or cantering, but in this case, I'm very skeptical that it'll solve whatever this friendship problem is. Haha, <laughs> well, okay, Punky Wunk, if you say so. In that case, maybe the best way to look for a friendship problem in the past... Oh no, is to look even farther back in Sire's hollow history. Yes, now that I think of it, I'm sure that the antiquity section of the Ponyville bookstore will have exactly the records we need. Just don't talk to any strangers while you're in there, alright? For Firelight Knows Best, we need to send Starlight Glimmer to the bookstore at her dad's request. And this will take 30 minutes. It looks like Starlight is done. I'm pretty sure I saw steam coming out of Starlight's ears when she went into the bookstore. Do unicorns molt too, or is that just me? What did you find, sweetie patootie? Anything? If not, I'd be happy to do the research for you. I know how you get all tuckered out when you read books without pictures and... Oh my gosh, Dad, you're driving me crazy! I'm not a filly anymore! I'm a grown pony with a job to do, and I'll do it on my own! Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got to find Sunburst and... and not be here right now. At least he understands me. And for fools these days, we need to send Starlight Glimmer to commiserate with Sunburst. They're going to be doing that for 1 hour and 30 minutes. Eesh, looks like Starlight isn't having a great time either. It's a little bit like the friendship problem is... Oh, wait! I, I totally got it! Great, now both of us have to smooth things over with our parents on top of finding and solving a friendship problem. I know, right? It's almost like our relationship with our parents is the friendship problem. Uh, yeah. That's what pretty much all of us here think already. Quiet, you. <sighs> I guess he's right, though. Which means now that we know what the friendship problem is, we still have to solve it. And I think I've got a few ideas about how. So the next quest is No Place Like Home, and we have to bring 30 visit plans. Again, I've already finished this, so my reward will be 50 gems. But actually, this time around, with travel and things, I only had 4 hours and 20 minutes left, and I only had 15 visit plans, so I was not able to finish this limited time story. But I will get the community reward, which is the Dapper Halovian. Huh, you know, Firelight, this was a fantastic Sire's Hollow Expo after all. We should make it an annual thing. The more chances to visit our foals, the better. Stellar, you're a genius. I adore road trips. Me too. I just so happen to have a few plans for them myself. <laughs> oh, Celestia, what have we done? The Sire's Hollow Story is over. My community rank was 16. So there is the dapper Hollovian with his cute little bow tie. I ended up missing quite a few of my days in the calendar, but I did get some of the rewards. While I was checking my inventory, I realized I never placed Ernest Klugetowner in Klugetown, so I'm going to do that now. The, steam sh the steamy shanty will take seven hours to build. Now let's hop on the train to Ponyville so we can place the dapper Halovian. I'm going to go ahead and welcome him as soon as he hits the ground here. And let's check out his bio. He's got cute little bow ties as his cutie mark as well. We'd say he's bringing bow ties back to Sire's Hollow, but they never left in the first place. I also received Sunburst Antique Collection. And I have a lot of things here in my inventory for the Crystal Empire. I'm going to go on over there to the Crystal Empire and at least place a few of these things. 
There we go. I cleared out a spot for Sunburst Antique Collection. I'll place the crystal gates over here. Why not place some lamppost? I'll put the crystal divan over here. I think I already have an umbrum sphere on the other side of the crystal empire, but I'm going to put one here. I'll put a shadowy writing desk right here. I put some crystal logs and a crystal cage down here. And I may as well place the rest of my inventory. Now that we've cleaned up a bit, let's start our new limited time story. This one is called Rarity's Retro Revolution. Twilight, darling, why didn't you tell me Colonial Winningsburg was so inspiring? I'd never even been there before yesterday. You mean Equestria's finest, most accurate living history reenactment? Because, uh, I did tell you that, remember? After the Shadowlock incident. It's kind of my favorite place. Yes, well, after the 40th straight minute of you rhapsodizing about barrel making, pickled turnips, and stick dolls, I may have begun, uh, listening a bit more selectively. In any case, I have been there myself, and I have been inspired. Just maybe not in the same way that you were. I'm beginning to formulate a plan, Twilight, and it's a plan that involves research. This quest is called Hooray for Accuracy. Rarity has to go to the bookstore for research, and it will take three minutes. In my inventory, I have gifts for Rarity, so I'm going to go place those in Ponyville. I'm going to go ahead and place them on the west side of Ponyville. This is where I've been putting most of my limited time story items. Rarity is done with her research. Whatever Rarity's plan is, count me in. And also, tell me what her plan is at some point. Hello again, Rarity. Wow, is that a lot of books on the Griffish Regency? Did you buy all those just now? I mean, not that I blame you. It's a fascinating period of history. Hmm, oh, yes, quite. I'll say, was Celestia spending so much of that time exploring other dimensions? Equestrian civic administration really suffered. It got so bad that the Griffish Isles rebelled. Yes, of course. Twilight, right as always. Of course, Celestia addressed all their concerns when she came back, but her proclamation granting the Isles local self-governance is the bedrock of our political system today. That's actually what I like most about Colonial Winniesburg, that it commemorates the mares and stallions who helped shape Equestria into a modern, duarchic principality. I'm sorry, Twilight. Were you saying something? I've just been examining the detailing in these antique fashion plates, and I'm afraid my mind may have wandered the teeniest bit. <laughs> All right, we can talk political philosophy later, after you're done doing what you're doing. Honestly, I'm just glad you're feeling inspired. Let's check out the community tab. We have to challenge ponies. We have to tap on the screen when the special zones are under the pointer to collect vintage trims. And we have a limited amount of time to collect the vintage trims. So let's try our first one here. It kind of reminds me of the Equestria Girls mini game. When they're dancing, you have to tap as it gets to the line. I collected 190 vintage trims from Bonbon, bon, and you have to challenge each of these ponies. As the timer will allow you to, you can see on Bonbon bon, we have to wait about 45 minutes before we can challenge her again. This quest is called Fashion Backward. We need to send Rarity to draw up some plans and designs at home. That's going to take five minutes. Obviously, the more ponies you have in this challenge list, the better you can do in the community tab. So I have Mr. Cake. I have Peachy Sweet. I have Apple Rose. And let's check on some of these other characters. Prince Blue Blood is 200 gems. Coco Pommel is 200 gems. And I've actually wanted her for a while. And Rookie Griffin Racer is 300 gems. She is a 7 times multiplier. 
So I think we should maybe buy her. She lives in Ponyville, and look, there is Derpy hiding right next to her house. This rising star of the Griffin Racing Team had a good showing at the recent Equestria Games. Do we smell a biopic in the making? I actually forgot to send Rarity to draw up some plans and designs at home. That's only going to take 55 seconds. In the meantime, let's go ahead and challenge our rookie racer. Ooh, I got 1,400 vintage trims from challenging her. On Black Friday, you could get photo finish for bids, so I went ahead and grabbed that sale. This famous fashion photographer pony has an eye for modeling talent, like Ponyville's very own Fluttershy. Rarity is done drawing up some plans. I just love it when Rarity gets her heart set on something. Well, I love it when Rarity does a lot of things, but that too. Twilight Sparkle, after a significant time investment and much deliberation, I am overjoyed to announce an all-new original event presented by Rarity for You. E. E. So, is the event a high-pitched squeak, or are you just really excited? No, silly, it's an acronym. The Equestrian Enlightenment Era Exposition, a festival dedicated to the fashion and culture of Old Winniesburg, featuring period-accurate clothing designs by yours truly, of course. There's quite a lot to prepare, though. Do you think the rest of our friends would be willing to volunteer? Hmm, well, I'm definitely in, and I think Fluttershy and Pinkie Pie would be, too. But Rainbow Dash and Applejack might need a little convincing. I'm not sure Rainbow Dash is even allowed back into Colonial Winniesburg after the whole cannon incident. Very well. I'm sure we can win them over if we try. Hopefully they'll be the first of many we rally to the cause of historical couture. Alright, so we have a boss battle. Our ponies will defeat minions automatically over time. And we'll have to collect our coins to level up over here on the left. Let's go ahead and tap on the hero gear to level up so you can see that. And you can have helper ponies, which will give you a boost. They want us to go ahead and challenge the boss, and we have one minute. Rainbow Dash is our boss this time. I guess we're trying to convince her to help. And our reward is the enchanted mirror. Ooh, we ran out of time, and we uh, were defeated by Rainbow Dash, so we're going to have to try that one again. And I suddenly decided I have to go ahead and buy Coco Pamel, and she goes in Canterlot. To make room for her, I'm just going to go ahead and expand over here. I have 300 gems, so I'll only have 100 left after I buy her. My total power is 24 now, so we definitely have enough to defeat Rainbow Dash. We're going to try that again. Alright, we're almost done. We have 20 seconds to spare. Ooh, count me in too. If Rarity needs help with event planning, you know I'm going to be the first in line. Let's go ahead and place our enchanted mirror. That's going to go in Ponyville. Let's go over there now. Let's place it over here next to Gifts for Rarity. Rarity, you know how much I respect a good sales pitch, but you had me from the word go. The Apple family's got recipes dating back hundreds of years, and I've been looking for a good excuse to dig out the really old ones. I'm in too! Spitfire's been talking about how some of the Wonderbolt's looser formations were first used by the Minutemares. It was kind of boring at first, but now I'm curious. Fabulous! I'm so glad all of you are willing to give your time to a worthy cause. E will be ever so much richer for your efforts. Especially because the planning process has only just started. 
Why, I haven't even begun the most important part. Oh, researching period-appropriate flax harvesting techniques? No, wait. It's hoof-dipping all the beeswax candles, right? It's got to be the candles. Oh, sweetie, no. I'm talking about fundraising. If we can't find some wealthy, public-spirited ponies to support this exposition, we'll be lucky to afford even one candle. Fortunately, I have some contacts among Equestria's elite that may be willing to bit-roll us. All I need to do is persuade them. It looks like we have another boss battle here. We have to defeat 50 swan song minions and reach the recommended power. Ooh, look, Photo Finish is one of our helpers. And occasionally you will be able to tap on Rarity when you see a little circle. She will give you a few extra coins. I wanted to check back in really quickly. Now that I've defeated the 50 minions, we can see that the recommended power is 38 for the boss. I have a total power of 49, so we can go ahead and challenge Fancy Pants. Our reward is the Cooper Reenactor Pony, and we have five minutes to defeat Fancy Pants. While I'm waiting, I can go ahead and work on my community tab challenges. We have about a minute left, but it looks like we've almost defeated Fancy Pants. I've left five bits on Rarity's desk while she was out talking to all those rich ponies. Every little bit helps, right? Literally this time. Let's go ahead and place our Cooper Reenactor Pony. He goes in Ponyville. I made a little space here for our Cooper Reenactor Pony. Colonial Winniesburg will take seven hours to build. Thank you ever so much for agreeing to sponsor our exposition, Mr. Rich. It's my pleasure, Rarity. My ancestors came over on the Nayflower, you know, so I've always felt a connection to that era of history. Well, your generous donation has taken us to over 50% of our goal, so both of us have a lot to look forward to. Confidentially, I was hoping that Dandy Grander would be the one to put us over the top, but he's proven quite finicky about setting up a meeting. Who, old Dandy? Ha! Huh. The two of us were in the same class at Pranston. He's a little stodgy, sure, but a soft touch once you get to know him. Tell you what, I'll invite both of you to lunch at my place and help break the ice. I'll bet you 20 bits he agrees to fund your exposition by the end of the dessert course. Why, Mr. Rich, I, well, I'll name a dry goods store after you at the exposition for this. Thank you so much. We have to defeat another 45 minions before the next boss battle. It's time to welcome Coco Pamel. And look, Derpy was hiding right next to her house. That's very suspicious. She is a very cute pony. I love her hair. A talented seamstress inspiring the fashionistas of Equestria. Coco Pamel knows how to stir up a buzz with her majestic dress designs. Well, friendly fans, that's the end of part 208 of the My Little Pony game. If you like this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell so you'll receive notifications. Also, check out JoJo's science show, Kid Science, where JoJo and Grace do lots of fun science experiments. I love you, friends, and I hope you have a fabulous day.